Welcome. Today we're going to learn how to create a rotating animation in Canva. This video is a bit long because it's jam-packed with great animation tricks you can learn. Currently Canva doesn't have a way to do rotating animations. So I'm going to show you how to create them yourself. Let's get started. Let's jump over to Canva. First we'll click on top to create a design. Then we can click on video in the drop down. After it loads on our screen we can go over and click on Elements. Then we can pick an object we want to animate and click on it. Next we can move it up and resize it to fit our video. Then, let's click on Position to center it and set it in the middle. The next step is very important. We're going to click and set the duration of our video clip. I like to set the duration at 0.1 seconds. I have found that duration to make a relatively smooth animation. Okay, so now we're going to click up top to duplicate our clip. I'm going to click it 9 times to show you how this process works. Then we'll go back and click on the first clip in the timeline. I'm going to click on the image and grab the rotation handle. Here I can show you the default rotation is set at zero. Our next step is to click on the second clip in the timeline. Then, click on the image, and grab the rotation handle. We are then going to rotate the image two degrees. Following our pattern we can now click on the next clip in the timeline. Then, click on the image. Grabbing the rotation handle, rotate the image another two degrees. So, clip by clip we will continue this process of rotating 2 degrees at a time. After we've done all 9 clips, we can test our partial animation. We'll drag the playhead back to the beginning and hit the play button. Our first 20 degrees of rotation looks great. One more time. Perfect. Watch what happens, though, when we get halfway around at 180 degrees. Up until this point, the numbers have been increasing for every 2 degrees of rotation. You'll notice now as you go past the 180 degree point, the numbers start to decrease. I mention this so you don't think you made a mistake at this point. So, just continue working your way around, clip by clip. Where you finish with the last clip is critical for a smooth transition to the beginning. You need the last clip to end at negative 2 degrees, not at 0. This will ensure that the beginning will connect with the end correctly in the animation. Ok, so now we can download and preview our animation. We'll click the share button up top. Then we'll click download. And then hit download again. When the download is done we can click on any white space, to get rid of the progress box. Then we can click on the bottom to open our video. I like the way this animation turned out but we're gonna take it even further. So let's go back to our home page on Canva to create some cool animations. So let's create a new design. We can click on presentation. Then we can go to uploads. We're going to upload the animation video we just downloaded. Earlier in the video we downloaded it as a video about 17 seconds in length. Now we're going to download it as a GIF. That will end up turning our animation into an endless loop. When it's finished downloading we can click on the bottom to open it. Then we can save it to our computer so we can do even more with it. Ok, let's go back to Canva. Let's click create a design. And then click on video. Next we'll go back to uploads. 
and click on Videos. Then we can click on our GIF to add it to our design. And we can pause it to work on it. Next we'll go up top where it says Flip. Look what happens when we flip our GIF horizontally. When we hit the play button it now rotates in the opposite direction. But, wait, there's even more that we can do with this. Let's move this reverse spinning animation off to the side here. Then let's click and add another rotating GIF on here. And let's resize it and move it over to the other side. We can make some final adjustments. So, watch what happens when we click on the play button. We have two animations spinning in opposite directions. I've got a couple more great animations to share with you, so keep watching. Back in Canva, we'll create a new design. We'll click on Video. And then Uploads. Let's go to Videos. We'll click and bring our GIF into our presentation. We can adjust it to fit our presentation. Then let's go to Elements. I'm going to type peace sign into the search bar. For this project I'm going to need one with a solid center. Let's scroll. Ah, here's a good one. We just have to resize it and move it into a good position. Now, look closely, this is a very cool effect, the colors are moving around the outside of the peace sign. You're probably wondering if you can put a background behind the animations. You absolutely can, but until Canva comes up with a better solution, you will have to build the animations on top of the background. Be sure to keep watching and I will show you how to do that. First, we'll have to create a new design in Canva. Let's click on video in the drop down. Let's adjust the duration of the clip so that's out of the way. If you remember from the beginning of this video I like to set the duration at 0.1 second. So, let's go over to the left side and pick out a background. This gold glitter background is one of my favorites, let's use it. Now, let's go over and click on elements. This is a great looking heart. Let's click on that first. We can resize it and move it over to the right side of our presentation. Looks good right here. Let's go back and grab that cute little teddy bear for the left side of our presentation. We'll resize the bear and put him up on the left side. Do you think we can make the bear wave at us? You bet. So the first thing we need to do is set the start position for each. Because the bear will be waving we will start him 12 degrees to the left. And because the heart will be spinning we will start it at 0 degrees. So, let's add a duplicate slide to the timeline. Next, we can rotate the bear 2 degrees to the right. We can also rotate the heart 2 degrees now. And then we can click to add another duplicate slide. Slide by slide we're going to keep moving the bear 2 degrees, until he's 12 degrees to the right of center, and then we will reverse again. This back and forth motion will simulate the bear waving. And we will continue to rotate the heart 2 degrees in every slide. I've sped up the video for the rest of the added slides. Keep watching a few more moments to see the bear waving and the heart spinning.
Sorry for the long wait. Now we can preview the animation. I know that was a lot of tedious work, but now we can save it. We can click the share button. Then we can click download. Then we can click download again. When it's done downloading, click on any white space to close the progress box. Then we can click on the bottom to view the video full size. I think it looks great, and hope you think so too. Sorry it took so long, but this is the Canva workaround I came up with, until Canva builds the tool to do it quicker. Remember, if you want your animation to keep looping, download it as a GIF. You can find the GIF option in the drop-down. If you have any questions about this process, ask in the comment section below the video. Now get on Canva and try it yourself. Practice, and have fun with your new skill. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.